Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television and Board Game. Today we've got a joint video for both sites. It is the unboxing of the Warhammer 40,000 Ultramarines Primaris Intercessor figure from Bandai. Now this is a figure that we've been waiting for it's been about five months since it uh, initially went on sale. We're super excited to open it up and show it off. It's huge Warhammer fans. It's really cool to see these uh, the property getting turned into action figures and collectibles uh, beyond the amazing miniatures that Games Workshop puts out already. So excited to open up, excited to show this off, and excited to see what's inside. Now, the box already is just some beautiful artwork, really cool uh, look to it that just has us even more excited. And uh, yeah, so I, I think let's just open up and show off what we're getting. I have not looked inside at all. Uh, this is a first look. First. I don't know why, but the inside's gold and, you know, it's kind of cool in a weird way. Whatever. All right, so let's look at the figure. It is, it is large. This is a pretty sizable figure. Um, kind of reminds me of like the 112 collective scale figures. Pretty decent height. And size to it, uh, of course, we've got uh, is a uh, bolter, the bolt gun, uh, knife, backpack, what other accessories can we have already? We got some hands. So, yeah, I, I think at this point, it's, it's pretty clear as to what's inside and what we're getting. The bigger question is, is how does the figure hold up as far as quality? All right, we got some tape we got to get rid of. Uh, we've been waiting for a while for this figure. I think it retailed for it was a hundred bucks or so, which beat my prediction of I said it was going to be about one twenty-five to one fifty, based off of some of the other stuff that has come out from Bandai. So while expensive, it's still not quite as expensive as I expected it to be. Yeah, tape. Let's get some tape. See, based off the fact that I have to undo all the tape, and we really do this live. There's no fake in it here. All right, so let's get the figure out. Let's get some accessories out. course we need to get the marine hooked up at least the backpack and then we'll do a hand swap all right so let's look at the figure itself uh, the detail, I mean, it's pretty solid. The thing that immediately stands out to me as far as the uh, figure is there's a lot of shading. Um, it's not just straight blue. You can see the dark uh, coloring around the legs especially. It's very, uh, I want to say traditional uh, painting style as far as Games Workshop figures. But uh, this is what I would kind of expect from a GW figure of, of uh, you know, how to uh, design and paint one um, with the, the very shading the way it is. Uh, let's go with put the backpack on. All right, so the other things that stand out to me is the plastic feels very toy-like. Um, not super high quality as far as the plastic itself. Um, we can see already that the figure is getting a lot of issues standing upright that I kind of have to force it forward. So that's kind of a disappointing thing already. That's not a good... Uh, thing to uh, have as far as the figure itself. It means posing is not going to be easy and going to be kind of a pain in the butt. So, you know, just doing it upright, the figure falls. So, not all that good. That's kind of a bad thing. I actually will uh, knock the figure for that immediately. Let's look at uh, the joints. We got toes. Interesting enough, the toe is posable. 
there's a little bit movement of the foot left and right. Up and down, we've got a lot of movement. The knee is pretty jointed. It's not the kind of the double joint. It's only a single joint. The hip has got movement that we kind of expect, so that's good. Waist does turn, it's good. Movement at the waist or at the uh, upper torso. Arm movement's pretty good. Arm is good as far as elbow. The fist is good for that movement. Um, there's some good give on the armor, which is, which is solid. And then the head moves pretty well. So as far as movement, we're looking at pretty, uh, pretty solid. Still, this is not an easy figure to pose. That's a bad thing. The weight seems to be really off. There needs to be more weight, it seems, probably in the front to get really good uh, poses uh, down. Otherwise, it tips. So that's not a good thing at all. All right, let's look at the bolter, the bolt gun. The detail is pretty decent. Of course, we've got the Imperial Double Eagle. The coloring is, is good. It's not quite as good as the Marine himself. We don't see the quite the same shading. It feels like it's a lot flatter as far as coloring. The end of it's car, uh, colored out, which is or carved out, which is good. We got a red dot for the, the sight, which is good. But overall, like the detail is kind of eh. Um, not really great, not horrible, but not all that impressive. As far as knife goes, kind of the same. There's some slight shading to it, um, but other than that, it's a fairly flat knife. A little bit of detail, but you know, not tons as far as uh, anything interesting. So an accessory, but not an accessory that like you have to have. All right, let's see here. Let's look what poses we might be able to get out of this figure. I'm going to swap out some hands. And go from there. Alright, so we got four hands. We have two open. And then two closed. The closed, obviously, to hold uh, the weapons that you would get for the figure. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking let's just go and throw out some of the hands. And see how easy it is to pop them off. Alright, so that was pretty easy. Uh, well, that, that came off way too easy. That's not necessarily a good thing. Alright, so that went back on pretty pretty simply. That's, that's good, I guess. Of course, that popped off again. Alright. Oh, so that's a closed fist. Oh, wait, I think I just put on the same fist again. Whoops. Put on the different one. Alright, so we pretty easily can get the hand on. It's about getting a bull turn. See if this helps at all as far as the posing. All right, so that's way better. The uh, I will give them credit in that it seems the bolter balances out the weight of the figure. So in that way, good. Um, still not great, but good. And obviously, it's going to be easy to go. And Do the traditional forty K marine pose. Oh well. And that popped off again. Yeah, so far this is not. It's not a hundred dollars worth. 
This is like a twenty dollar toy. All right, so we get a traditional pose. It's not bad. Like I don't know. This is this is really interesting. Like I'm excited that this exists. The quality is just not quite there. The plastic feels kind of chintzy. Um, you can see pieces are popping off really easily. Um, the detail of the Marines good. The weapons not so much. And the, the balance seems to be really off. Um, so unless you have the weapon in hand, like the figure has to be posed in a really kind of stupid way. So overall, and even then, like the shoulder isn't all that good. So this would be another problem that I've got. Is that shoulder right there looks really weird. Um, the so that would be the right shoulder. So yeah, I'm a bit mixed as I said. Like excited this exists, kind of bummed for the quality. It's definitely not worth the hundred bucks worth. Uh, if these came down to like fifty, I would be a bit more excited about it. If it was twenty, I would be definitely excited about it. So overall. It, it's a nice try, but generally kind of, I think, a swing and a fail. Still, it's definitely going on the shelf for display. Like, I think it's just a cool thing to have. And again, as a 40K fan, really excited that it exists. And hopefully we get more in the future that is of higher quality. Because as of now, this is kind of... Eh, it falls short. That will be the nice way of putting it. It definitely falls short, so... Uh, nice try, Bandai, and then nice try, GW, but better luck next time, I think, is the end uh, result and thought of this. So, overall, a little bit mixed and a little bit disappointed, not going to lie. Definitely not worth the money. So, it is what it is. Um, you know, when more comes out, we'll, we'll, we'll debate as to whether or not to get it, uh, depending on what it is being offered. So... Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. As I said, this is a dual video between Graphic Policy and Board Game Today. You can follow us at GraphicPolicy.com, all social networks, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, etc. And then same with Board Game Today, BoardGameToday.com. Follow us on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Instagram, etc. So, uh, you know, we got your latest board game news or just game news in general, as well as your latest comic news. Follow us at all those sites. And, of course, uh, subscribe to our videos. Much appreciated. So until next time, keep reading those comics and get your game on. Hey, thanks for watching Board Game today. We always appreciate your views and your support, but there are so many ways for you to support our site. Not only can you do right here on video, but you can go and check us out at boardgametoday.com where we have more news, reviews, interviews, everything you could ever want. But since you're here, if you could, you can always give us a like, subscribe, or share our videos or watch something else. As always, much appreciated and get your game on.